He terrorized businesses and people in Santa Fe for days. But it looks like his run is over. Police have just arrested a serial armed robber. News 13's Cole Miller tells us who he is and has more from the people he came face to face with. Yeah, okay, well, police are about to book this guy. They say he's the man who's robbed five places in just five days. This is the man Santa Fe police say has been hitting store after store, robbing clerks, saying he has a gun. He's 21 year old Brett Armijo. He was holding a Crown Royal bag over his mouth and nose. Just last night, police say he hit this Baskin Robbins on Cerrillos. Kristen Quintana was behind the counter. He just said, Hey, how's it going? And I said, Good, how are you? How can I help you? And he said, I'm good, I'm just here to rob you. Quintana didn't believe him. He said, Yes, I'm serious, I have a gun. And so I just gave him the money and then he told me he was sorry and he left. It was pretty scary. Police say Armijo started this spree at the Los Panchitos Mini Mart near Cerrillos and Osage on Sunday. The cameras there caught this picture of him. The next day we had one at the Subway restaurant, which is on Airport Road. And here's a pic of him at that Subway. The day after that we had two robberies. One at the Phillip Mini Mart on Cerrillos. I'm here to take your money. I have a gun. And he puts his hands in his pocket. Raymond Amaro was on the clock. I told him I had I got a gun and I hit the alarm already. It did the trick. And he he ran off running. Police say Armijo then went on to hit this Dollar General on Airport Road. Each victim had a similar story. When we see the consistency amongst all of these um, victims, it is helpful for us to identify a suspect. Those details and these images led to tips and today an arrest. He just looked shady. And as of right now, Armijo is only charged in two of those robberies at Los Panchitos and the subway. Police believe, though, that he is, in fact, connected to the others. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Cole. And more charges could follow. Online court records show a bit of a criminal past for the 21-year-old. In 2013, he pled guilty to attempt to commit a felony and drug charges.